I've got a mono green Eldrazi deck to play. Um, it is, we've, we've got a couple of new cards from MH3. We got a few, we got a few new cards from MH3 that I'm trying out. I played a big green Eldrazi deck on the channel some time ago, like maybe six months ago or so. Um, and it, I remember it being kind of cracked. And so I think I've actively made it worse. But also, uh, I think the format has gotten a lot faster. And so I'm pretty, pretty interested to see whether or not I'm going to get smushed. Like, we have every fetch land now, which is kind of wild. Um, and so, like, a three-color aggressive deck... Channel is not banned. A three-color aggressive deck or, like, a three-color uh, tempo kind of strategy, which is, spoiler alert, one of the other decks that I have available. Uh, the other deck I built was a, a Sultai deck. Uh, look at that curve. <sighs> Ooh. The Simic Charm is probably unnecessary, and same with the Decisive Denial, but I wanted to have some spice in here. Do I have a discard outlet for Emmy? No. I mean, I could probably find a discard outlet for Emmy. I was just going to hard cast this. 12 mana? That's nothing. Oh. I mean, there's a chance that the Zemrakul shouldn't even be in the deck. Uh, but let me talk about the new cards. I've got Priest of Titania. Pretty fucking good. Pretty good mana dork. Especially against other green decks. Uh, we got Fanatic of Ronus. It's just got a big booty. Can really help us hit these incredibly high mana costs. Which is kind of nice. Uh, I got Thief of Existence. A low cost Eldrazi. We don't have a huge amount of Eldrazi cards. Or a huge amount of cards that are like, Hey, play Eldrazi. Do a thing. See the world. We have Ugin's Labyrinth. Uh, we love Eldrazi Temple and um, Sanctum Eternity on here. I uh, I wonder if we're getting those. BFZ's legal, right? So we may... Wait, was, Eldra was Eldrazi Temple Rise? Eldrazi Temple is Rise. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I want Eldrazi Temple on Arena. Uh, but this card's pretty good. Uh, Flare of Cultivation. I'm trying this one out. It's pretty strong. I mean, this is a deck that can look at Cultivate and be like, you know, I could fuck with the Cultivate. I could cast Kodama's Reach. But we also just have some Mana Dorks that maybe we're not expecting them to stick around for too long. Maybe we can cash them in. Oh, I'm not playing an actual Wastes. I could probably play an actual Wastes. That might be smart. I'll see how I feel. Like, I'll see if I miss not having a Wastes. Speaking of, we have Sewing Myco Spawn. Uh, four mana, three, three, that just tutors up one of our lands. And then uh, we can also kick it and exile somebody else's lands. Uh, obviously, finding something like Castle Garen Brig or the, the Gate or getting our Cavern of Souls on Eldrazi, getting our Nykthos pretty hot. Got a lot of tech for that. Um, and then up at the Big, the big Donkeys... I'm playing all three new Eldrazi. This Emrakul might just be too expensive. A bit too much. Um, but I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna want to get rid of this. Possible include? You mean this one? You mean this one? Um, got all the three Eldrazi. And then for the lands that we're adding, I got the Disciple of Fraley's. This is kind of a cool one. Uh... It's just nice to have a cheap land. Actually, because I'm adding this, I kind of want to add... Fuck, this deck was already tough. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add Fierce Empath. I'm going to actually bench this Emrakul. And see how I'm feeling. See if I... I want to see if I can hit this mana threshold. But like... Fierce Empath, obviously pretty good with Priest of Titania. The fact that we can now Fierce Empath for a land... Uh, in the form of Disciple of Freilis is pretty nice. Um, and yeah, she's just, we could just play her for six and, and cash in on like, I don't know, a Forceful Cultivator or a Sewing Mica Spawn or whatever. Uh, shifting's in here because there are, you know, it's not going to happen 
all the time, but shifting woodland being able to turn itself into one of these Eldrazi that may have got hit by discard or whatever uh, is pretty neat. Or any of our big dumbass threats too. Do I hate Wumpuses now? No, I like Wumpuses. I just don't want to play a four mana six six. At least not in this one. So yeah, these are the these are the new cards that I'm playing. I I'm a little hesitant. I feel like I might just lose. Change his votes after they were announced? What the fuck? That's not how this works. <laughs> That's not how voting works. Mm, actually. What? Sorry, one second. I gotta fire off a work email. Uh, yeah. Yo, Paps. Do you want to record a points discussion video? A la... Hold on, let me find it. Uh, Canadian Highlander points update. Much like how we did this one with like Sasha and we did one with Robin previously. If you want to do one of these, uh, hit me up with your availability because uh, we should do one of these. I think it'd be cool. Not to pluck you from the shadows. But I think that'd be dope. Uh... Power Flapjack, that natural cause of Dane Cook joke? I guess it's less problematic a joke because he definitely stole it himself. Something, something was that joke under uh, 18 years old. Now nah, you're good, you're good. All right, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, let's, let's get some games going. Um, fuck, how come I can't see? I know the queue is open. Why can't I... Find the queue. I mean, I'm going to play HD first. Open the queue. That's enabled. Close the queue. Yeah, it was show me the queue. I don't want stats. What the fuck is this? Yeah, it would have to. Yeah, next week would work. Next week would work. No Archdruid's Charm? Oh, I thought I included Archdruid's Charm. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this mana. I'm gonna mulligan. This I'm gonna keep. <sighs> so this is probably the correct one to put away, but I kind of want to keep this. <sighs> which, which Ulamog do I put back? I mean, I think you're supposed to keep this Ulamog. Yeah, I'm going to keep this Ulamog. <sighs> Should I keep the new one? All right, I'm going to keep the new one, but if it costs me, I'm going to be very upset. I'll do this for you, chat. I'll do this for you. Call me the Bamboo Groves. Sick. Uh... I think I want to do this. This is just so much mana. Eldrazi. One, two, three, four, five. Five mana. Six mana, turn three. Pog. Uh, I mean. They don't have. I can boot this up for three. I don't really... Do I want to attack with this, too? I can attack with this. 
Well, that's kind of cute. If we get, I mean, it's it's cost negative, I guess. But like animating this into a four and then tapping the the fanatic of Ronas. Like if they flash in a fairy mastermind or something that I'm fine, they're not gonna like boomerang my lair of the hydra. Bon Deluve, I do not currently own a, ja a German top uh, from Champs. Uh, I would be more than happy to trade you for it. Uh, that sounds great. Please and thank you. I will be at MagicCon Amsterdam. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna make a uh, I'm gonna make a post about it, but I'm gonna try to. I'm going to schedule a like Canlander meetup day in Amsterdam. I think that'd be fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mana. Um, do I want to animate this? They're not going to have a big. I don't really need to field a rune anything. I'm just going to make a big donkey. I don't think they can instant speed do this. Do I want to throw this away? Or potentially, like, in, am I getting endurance? Mines? Why are you playing Mindstone? I feel like I'm getting endurance. I'm going to just attack with the layer of the Hydra. Because it doesn't really change my clock. They may cash this and yeah. Magic hot take. So they, I got a magic hot take for you. Oh, they're doing this. Uh oh. Uh, my magic hot take is that they errated cephalids to be octopus, and they did errata on Viashino to be um, lizards. And I hate that. I hate it so much. I understand that. Why do they do it? They did it because it provides certain consistency for typing, right? Like, I'm not there yet, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. God, this requires so much mana. Like, I get why they did it, right? It makes it consistent. What the hell is a Viashino in the first place? Um, but it removes... It, here, hold on. Let me re-articulate this. It is a change that all it serves, in my opinion, is a little more consistency in terms of on rails deck building for commander players or for subsequent like there 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 is a benefit for, for it but to me it just it it leads to this like the the SEO adjustments of magic the gathering right like there are a lot of changes in this game that have been done that basically just make it easier to uh well for branding purposes and for like making the journey of discovering new magic cards and uh like overlapping synergies just less fantastical less interesting and there's something to be said about like making the game easier for people to get into, right? That like that is a legitimate concern to have. I think it's a uh, noble goal, but to do it at the cost of the game's identity and the game's history and the flavor, it feels not great. And frankly, it feels inconsistent with some of the card types that we have been receiving over the you know past couple of releases. Yeah, Y2A mentioning like varmint, just like realistically, how many more varmints are we gonna get? You know, 
Meanwhile, my opponent has resolved a one with the multiverse. And my Eldrazi deck has not been able to uh, cast the Eldrazi. This is during each of your turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They block that, and then they take lethal. This is very funny. I didn't even get to cast the 10 drop. I just kept animating this layer of the Hydra. I mean, that's good. That's that's a pivot point. We had a shitload of mana. We just kept drawing more mana and kept scaling our, our stuff. Yeah, I don't mind the changes when it comes at... Uh, I don't mind the changes when they are for, like, the benefit of... Uh, consistency or you know not plucking something from a religious group that i'm okay with for obvious reasons but it is i don't know like the cephalids they're not octopus they're cephalids and the same thing with enters right like i i fucking hate enters i think enters is so atrocious all right uh i've got this orb please respond chances are i should have gone world tree plus incubation druid here but it's so tempting to get that orb down against a blue deck even if this means that they might have a counter spell i get to do it on a turn where they're like hoping to growth spiral or do something impactful ho ho uh yeah let's do it like this i'm not going to be able to do anything with channel just this second oh they gave it to me they just don't want to take damage okay great oh yeah peps loves the palantir gaming i mean who doesn't love palantir hmm I feel like I want a forceful cultivator here. It sets me up for this Nissa. It does make my mana a little awkward if this doesn't resolve. But if they're spending a counter spell on my forceful cultivator, that's a counter spell not being spent on Nissa for a subsequent threat. It's Orban time. Ooh. Um I don't think I want either of these. You want to take a blind flip? That's a good one. And we have the world tree already. Holy smokes. Great. Like enters to me is about, a, is similarly atrocious. Um, and field of the dead is banned. Um, enters removes the, yeah, removes the whimsy. It removes the whimsy. It also just like is a little confusing for new players. And like the reasoning behind what's what's the reasoning behind it? Because you needed to fit more card words on your cards? Don't. Stop that. Get some help. Um Don't have the mana to Golos here. I can just do this. Here's a Kozilek. Uh, yeah, you and me. The battlefield feels great. Or just revert it to, or it's play, right? Just revert it to play. When it enters play. That is so easy for people to follow. Uh, just doing this. I think I'm just doing these. When it enters what? Enters the graveyard? When it enters combat? If you want to cut battlefield, play is right there. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, the pitch subtlety. What did you pitch? Time warp. That's so huge for us. Uh, I will put it on top. <laughs> um... Tireless Provisioner. I would like to make a treasure token. I can make a food token. <gasps> oh, we could gain life and keep comboing off. Do I want to draw this Kozilek? I kind of want to draw, draw this Kozilek again. Uh, I think I actually go for food here. No, treasure, it, it, it's, it's neutral, right? Actually, treasure means that I can go to take fewer beats off of this. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be able to cast this. I thought I... What? Didn't I side this out? I thought I got rid of this. Did it not save? Very weird. Can't trap her in the moon forever. Okay. This card can be pretty spicy. Make your own luck. Because they're hoping to hit an Omniscience. They hit an Auron's Epiphany. That's scary. Well, guess I should have kept that Amarcol, shouldn't I? Make a treasure token. I think I'm only targeting myself here. Ooh. Block, block, five. Is it right if I send everything? I send everything, block, block. They take five, ten, they take eleven, they go to one. I may actually die, though. Oh, no. You know what I'm going to do? I shouldn't... They have to attack the big things. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna play it a little smart here. I'm going to alt cost sack this to find these two. Put that into play, that into hand. I'm going to make a treasure token, or a food token, excuse me. I mean, I guess I'll do this too. Because I don't want to die to time walk birds and then, like, another time walk. Uh, I'm just going to do this now. Why is Cozy give plus three, plus two? I mean, I imagine there is something to... Uh, if you exile your opponent's stuff, they can double block one of your things and kill it. Yeah, three, two is also... Um, there are a lot of three twos, right? Okay. They've made Burt's. Tamio. But they don't have. They don't have a thing, a time walk in there. And time warp has been exiled. Yeah, the three two tokens from um, uh, SOI, right? Oh, I forgot. I have a small portion of my protein bar.
I don't mind providing outside assistance. So they're trying to figure out how to use the Tamiyo here. Um, they don't have any other time walks. If they find Lightning Bolt, they could attack me for two, Bolt, and then Snapcaster Bolt. Or they even have Tamiyo to do it. Plus four bolt than just Tamio bolt. Oh, I see. But I don't think that wins you the game. Just a casual conversation of how, hey, how do you want to kill me? Let's see what they went for. They have Song of Creation in their hand, in their deck. Holy shit. They drew a Bone Crusher Giant. Are they saying Galvanic Discharge? I was under the impression they were talking about Galvanic Iteration, like for the copy. What are the odds of them getting banned? Um, it is not currently <laughs> being talked about. They draw like an ill-timed explosion? Uh, the classic minus 46. They meant Galvanic Key, right? To untap Time Vault. GG's HD. Uh, what the fuck happened? What? Resume editing? Yeah, now s continue. Okay, great. I had it. For some reason, the Emrakul was still in the deck. When are we getting Time Vault on Arena? We can only hope soon. Uh, okay, to make sure that this queue is manageable, I'm going to ask that folks, after they are done the game, to leave the queue. Because I don't know what's going on with the, the thing. I'm going to send a message to the dev and uh, try to figure it out. I was actually refining my list of like cards to bring to the arena team to be like, hey, uh, please print these for Gladiator and for Arena Cube and in some cases, Historic Brawl or Timeless. Isn't it wild that I think I want to mulligan this? because it doesn't have a one drop. I mean, I also think I just want to mulligan this because it just loses to a bunch of stuff and I got Wingus and Dingus here. Um, it's pretty good if we can find Priest of Titania. Maybe I should keep it off of that. There is some inevitability. 
This hand could go very poorly, though. I'm going to keep it. I'm on the draw. Yeah, I'll keep. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> One plow through Rito. A Rito. Ooh. Samwise returning the fetch. You'll love to see it. I got this date stuck in the corner of my mouth here. No, please. My Arc Druid. Well, they find lands. Unless they have double removal spell. That's pretty bad. I mean, I could draw a land and go... Cobra, land, uh, incubation druid. Draw a fetch land would be pretty good too. Oh, hell yeah. Mm, well, I've lost. I haven't drawn a land. 42, uh, 42 lands, by the way. I'll block here. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, that's pretty bad. All right, right on time. You can find any land card. Oh shit, I should have put it on the incubation druid. Right. Oh, that's so good. I should have gotten greedier, maybe. We might still... Oh. I was going to say, we might still win this game. Four, five, six. Oh, I got to pay mana to block? Right, this fucker. And I die. Oh. I forgot it. I saw this Elish Norn. I'm like, oh yeah, five mana Elish Norn. Whatever. I'm just going to... I'm just going to kill it with uh, Ugin. All right. A little unfortunate. That's kind of wild, though. We may, like, there's a spot where we just win that game. Like, if I put a counter, if we don't die there, I put a counter on Incubation Druid, and then, like, we could Cav, or we could just Ugin, right? Uh... Can't keep this. This I can't keep. I'm just going to keep all of my mana, and hopefully it works out. I mean, I could fetch. I could put this down here. Me. I'm going to keep all my mana. Also me. Never mind. Mm. It's the full list of Canlander changes live anywhere. Uh, you can find on my Twitter. You can find it on the Canlander Discord. I think I'm going to save this finale. Guide of Souls. Oh, even Mind Sensor gets better too, right? That's kind of fun. Even Mind Sensor gets a little bit better in... Uh... I think I still want this. What's a battle? Uh, it's a pun on Ristic Study because it requires you to pay one generic.
Ooh. You gonna orcish bowmasters me? Low check investigator, interesting. All right, I can find a five drop. I think I wanna do that instead of just waiting to find a six. We got some good fives. This is another five I'm trying out. <laughs> the I, I don't think it's very good, but it could be pretty strong. Mm, the cab is pretty hot. Orinclex is also kind of nice. Golos. I'm trying to think of what... If I get my card removed, which I believe is happening, I think cab is the, the better of the bunch. Oh. Okay. Ported two lands, by the way. The reach is pretty nice. Luris. Oh, sick. Oh, no. Oh, because it's the ring bearer. Oh, no. I'll take it. The sage you. Unfortunately, I don't have a good attack here. Like, we can attack this battle. It's not really going to do anything. There will be... Yeah, where I'm trying to... I mean... We're looking to coordinate a video up on LRR about the points update, but there's also going to be a VOD, uh, a separate VOD specifically talking about the points update. I mean, I could block this. Save me some life. I do need some gas. Thankfully, our deck is full of gas. I don't know what this card is. <laughs> Whoa. I have yet to see green cards. So I don't know. We are unfortunately getting dangerously close to just dying on a crackback. I'm going to block here. Try and save me some damage. I do not care about this. I mean, I kind of do. This thing doesn't have first strike, right? No. Hmm. I think I get Finale of Devastation. I'm going to cast Ulamog next turn. I could grab the other Ulamog. I don't know what this does. I think it's Finale. Because Finale for 8 is pretty good. Also, there shouldn't be a timer on this. Unfortunately. Uh, what am I getting here? Eggs, I could also get this. I think I'm getting Disciple. Eggs. Because it lets me gain a shitload of life.
Because I'm, but I'm dead on board, right? Yeah, I'm dead. Damn. We got outsped. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I don't like this card. Uh, Gigi's Parrot. Where is this? This fucking thing. I was staring at it in play. I'm like, I don't know if I like this card. Uh, what did I want? I wanted an elf. Either the, uh, whatchamacallit. Not Fauna Shaman. Could play Sylvan Ranger. I think Sylvan Ranger is probably the right call. <laughs> Could play El Domri. Oh, should this deck be on Timeless Witness? This deck should probably be on Timeless Witness. Let's try this. We want Courser. Am I not on Courser? We definitely want Courser. If I'm on Provisioner, I want to be on Courser. So if I'm on, if I'm on Courser, what am I cutting now? This Hulking Raptor seems less than ideal. Or less than necessary. Let's try that. Uh, Quintoxic, welcome back for the 17th month. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Uh, Parrot, if I can get you to exclamation mark, leave the list. As I set up to fight annoyed and confused. Thank you so much. I think this Eldrazi deck needs some extra juice. There's a chance that it should be more than just mono green. We should just be like, find my channel, please. Ooh, I like this card. Or I like this hand. And I like all these cards. This feels like a hand from like the first year of Gladiator. And you look at this and you're like, oh my God, this is unbeatable. I have my one mana dork on one. This is incredible. Shocked Eternal Witness isn't here yet. It is on my list of cards that I am asking them to add. Increase rat thief speed? Yeah, absolutely. Look at him fly. I don't really want to. I mean, I guess I should cash in this gent. Impact Tremors? Holy shit. Yo, there's an Impact Tremors deck in Glad or not Gladiator, in um, Modern that I saw that I would really like to try out. Uh, I'm going to find... A mortuary. Oh, yeah. Banger cards. Rabbits. Just give me more rabbits. But I gotta tell you, I'm really not thinking about Bloomboro right now. There's too many magic card sets coming out. No, this is like an Eldrazi deck. Here, let me let me link it in chat. Oh, this card's hot. Are they tokens? Are they like four color tokens? Prowess tokens? Leave my goose alone. If you haven't killed my goose before, why are you thinking about killing my goose now? Hmm. I think I am still playing this Bramble Familiar. Uh, let me find the tweet. Wait, likes are private now? Why? Conjure a ruby. I'm going to try to block this. 
Elon doesn't like people seeing he likes fascists. But he loves them. I don't know. If you're tired of people pointing out that you're a fascist or a pedophile, I think the easiest thing to do is either uh, don't be that or, uh, you know, just... Bonk. Ooh. Um, look at the misty. The, the virtue is kind of exciting to see out of a deck that has currently been operating at like one or two mana. Whoa. Jesus. This impact tremors is dealing so much damage to me. Oh, shit. I mean, I, I'm glad I have the goose. The, the food from the goose has been huge. Oh, I like that the mocks on are at least old bordered. That's pretty great. Uh, let's get the gate. All right, let's head a big Eldrazi, shall we? Or a Kogla. Ooh, that'll do, pig. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm already close to Delirium. That's kind of exciting. What do I not have in my yard? Uh, I think I'm getting this and this. There's a chance that I should have hit the Timeless Witness to get back the Disciple of Freilis. Balder. That was a good snap. Okay, well, I'm going to cast this Eugene. And I am going to pay the Esper Sentinel. The Sentinel tax. And then I'm going to exile this for three. I mean... I think I just want to do two. I don't really care about this card. But I may care about... I don't want to put Ugin in, like, Molten Impact range. Or at least, I don't want to put Ugin in Molten Impact range uh, without them having to throw a bunch of other cards under the bus. Ask if the desk is good or not. Which desk? Typing this without seeming rude. Oh, the deck. Oh, this deck is fine. I mean, last time we played it, it was an absolute banger. This time, I mean, look at what I'm about to do on turn two. That seems pretty good. I might not even do this on turn two. Oh, that makes me want to save. I think I'm going to... I Yeah, I don't think I need to do it on turn two. Oh, was Molten Impact bugged? I've been playing a lot of cube and not playing a lot of anything else. Yeah, I assume that it, the ban being for tournaments. Ow, ow. I still think I'm just playing my cards. Like I don't think I need to Emrakul yet. I 
I think I'm just playing out my hand first. Punished for not finding the overgrown tomb. I think the next big step for Gladiator is just getting original dual lands. I feel like that is an, uh, an, an inevitability on Arena more than anything. Uh, yeah. Like, I feel like we're going to get OG duels at some point in time. Sooner rather than later. Hmm. How much mana do I have? Hold on. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This channel doesn't even I don't even need this channel now. <laughs> I don't even need the channel. I mean I probably should. Like it's just gonna help me end the game, so I should do this. Yeah, channel's just dark ritual here, which is very funny. Oh no, because <laughs> wait, hold on. Like what is this just gonna do what I want it to do? Yeah, such a small amount of cards. Do they have a reason to print them outside of draft environment? Cube, timeless, uh brawl. They got a bunch of reasons. They'll sell. People are going to pay money to buy much like the fetch land package. It's just like they can just put it on here. They're very, I've got to assume they're very easy to program. Usually assumptions surrounding programming uh, is not recommended. But in this case, yeah, they're duels. People just play things for duels. They like dual lands. Yeah, Tropical Islands here in Alchemy. GGWP. GWP. Can you please? There you go. Perfect. Uh, all right. Wormy, fight me. We're just going, just going, just going. Yeah, owning dual lands and just looking at dual lands and playing with dual lands feels just so nice. OGs would be real cool, but some of the busted artifact stuff would be cool for timeless. Oh, don't worry. I'm including uh, the busted artifact stuff when I ship them the spreadsheet. I've got I've got artifacts in mind, don't you worry. How spread is this sheet? It's pretty spread. It's uh the one I'm submitting has 50 cards per color. Multicolor is going to be a bit different. Multicolor is going to have 10 cards, uh, roughly. 10 to 15 cards per color combination. A Johnny's Vengeance is... A Johnny Vengeance is going to be on the Boros list. Oh. That's kind of scary. Jar. Oh, right. I'm going to have to do this. I can't shortcut. Really looking for 
a big card to channel. This is not what I'm looking for. What is the spreadsheet? It's a list of cards that I am going to uh, provide to the uh, arena team of uh, a list of cards I'm going to provide to the arena team that I believe would be beneficial for the platform uh, for formats like Gladiator, Brawl, Timeless, Cube, whatever. Wheeler's demands. And if my demands aren't met. Yeah, this was something I'm not, and I'm not just doing this in like a weird, like declarative, like I demand that you print these cards on arena. This is the, uh, it's a product of, um, like actually talking with Ian and being like, Hey, well, Ian and, and some other people, uh, but being like, Hey, can I ship you this list? Like, are you open to suggestions? Ooh, I think I'm going to channel here. Four, five. Generous Ent. One, two. Sack the food token. One, two, three. We're going pretty low to do this. But we at least have a reach creature that can block a big dragon. I'm a little, I mean, I'm a bit worried if they, uh, no, I think we're still probably fine. Five is just, you know, a, a bit of a precarious life total. Do I think that MH3 shifts the power level to a point where any of the banned gladiator cards come back? Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably, probably not. Like... The Planeswalkers are still cracked. Uh, oh, can I afford to play this? You got a Path or a Swords? Oh, you got a Besiege you. Oh. The Planeswalkers are still cracked. The Tutors are still busted. Feel the Dead is still miserable. I'm gonna go Los, find myself the world tree. Yeah. I think the, the ban list is in a good spot. Like we have <laughs> we we have we have like we have a pretty good ban list. It could use more Nissa who But like the ban list right now is uh, Oko, Field of the Dead, Natural Order, Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes, Demonic Tutor, The One Ring, and Reanimate. Uh, I'll keep this. Pretty good at drawing this in my opener. Yeah, Teferi got unbanned about a year ago, I want to say. Ooh, a Johnny. Mana Drain is currently still legal. I'm just going to use that. I'm going to use that phrasing uh, for every single thing. Lightning Bolt is currently still legal. No, we use the four mana one. We don't use the, the arena updated ones. Although realistically, there may come a time, this is something that I haven't talked about uh, at too much length, but like we may hit a point where it's just correct to uh, say that the gladiator, the gladiator is every card on arena except for the banned list. And we just allow the cards that have been updated by alchemy. 
Like, I that is something I've been thinking about quite a bit. Where realistically, it would just make it a lot. We've we've hit a point where you kind of, like this is kind of a being a, a joke, right? Where uh oh, I think I have to channel as Dark Ritual. The channel is Lotus Petal. I think I need to channel as Lotus Petal. Is there a way to include the updated cards and non-updated cards? Yeah, absolutely. Yasharn, holy smokes. Oh, I'm just fucking dead. Can you not just do that through direct game? Uh, I have to block that. No, you can't? Oh, then we just get them to change it. <laughs> we just ask them to change it. Yeah, this pig, this pig is great. Biggest piggus. Then the answer is Shrimple. We just get them to program it as Gladiator. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, ship it back. Oh, we got a one drop, Pog. One drop. Yeah, I know it sounds very like I, I'm I'm saying it with the the jokey kind of tone, but like, yeah, we could just ask them, like, hey, I think that, like, there there is a discussion to have about like, hey. I think you could make this change to Arena that would be mutually beneficial. And we can line it up with this cha big change happening to the format, right? Mm. Oh, I didn't draw. There's a lot that can be gained just by asking and asking, uh, like, there's a lot to be gained by asking and doing so, like, oh, yeah, this is probably pretty good. And doing, and doing so, yeah, politely and, I don't know how to word this, but like, Doing so as a way, like, you've been here before, you know? Like, I if I approach them and say, like, hey, as a representative of Gladiator and the Gladiator Council, uh, I think that you should, like, this is a change we're looking to push. This is something that would need some work on your end to get this set up. But I believe it would be mutually beneficial for everyone involved. Like, that's something you do. And you do it being like, why am I asking you? 
Because I'm Benny fucking Wheels. Because we're... Because, like, I can ask you. So I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I can ask you. And that I'm not going to be a shit about it. I'll be a little bit of a shit as a treat. Your permanent cues to the spreadsheet? Yeah, let's... I mean, hey, why not? It's worth asking. Uh... I think I'm crundling in. They're at a low enough life. If Cav dies, we get the, the Vaultborn Tyrant. Holy fuck. Yeah, I'll exile the cab and get a vault born tyrant. It's eight mana. That's fine. Oh, do you have a you have a big dum dum? You got something big stinky over there? Am I about to get hit with big stinks? Uh, I mean, getting another body on the board is probably fine. I could maybe get Selvala. I kind of want to hide some of the, the burst potential I have with Nyssa and with the Shifting Woodland. Because we can turn Shifting Woodland into a copy of something. <clears throat> I'll be a shit, but I'll do it with a great deal of charm. I don't know. It's just like... Oh, got the Hort. Like... A part of negotiating stuff like this is one, not being a stereotypical magic player, but two, also recognizing your worth and the worth of what you are pitching, right? GG's Wormy. WP. Like, there is a lot of value to being like, it's not just like, oh, please, please, Watsy Arena, please implement this. Because, like, you know, we've been going on for a while. And this sounds like a big thing to ask. And yeah, it's something that will require people to obviously work on. But you gotta be like, hey, this shit's popular. People want it. We want to do something. Let's fucking do something. Let's make something out of it. You know? This could even be a thing. This could be a big thing for you in between the lull of sets or whatever. You get to be like, hey, Gladiator's on Arena now. And there's a big sweeping change to Gladiator to make it even more accessible and easy to understand than previously. And you get to play fucking everything. Except for the ban list of cards that you don't want to play against anyways. Uh, I'm going to mulligan because I don't have a... I don't have a two or a one. This I can keep. Uh, I'm going to put that there. Time between, <laughs> time between releases. Yeah. Don't be just a quickie. Also worth mentioning that like doing this in a way that avoids being a headache is also important. Like having this list I'm writing up is it, it features nothing that is coming to uh, pioneer or that's already on arena uh, and nothing that is uh, outside of an IP, right? Like I'm not like bring the doctor who cards to arena or whatever, or the Warhammer cards. And there's something to that. There's something to like when you're trying to cooperate and, and get something pushed. 
that you are uh, willing to work within the confines that they have set up without like it shows that you have a more grounded idea of like what you are getting right it's like look i'm just going to assume you don't have access to this if you do you could let me know but like i'm just going to operate under the idea of like i don't want this to be that much of a headache and then also thinking about cards like there are some cards that would be really like cool for just like sickos that play 100 card singleton competitively right where goblin guide is good um but also there are some cards where it's like, yeah, you know what? I don't think we need time spiral. <laughs> uh, I think I want the gate over the mortuary. I will just look to cast this witness to increase my pressure. What's this list? Uh, it's a spreadsheet I have. Uh, I almost said Zelucaster again. It's a spreadsheet I have uh, with cards that I will uh, ship to the arena team and be like, hey, here are some cards that I believe would benefit the health, enjoyment, and engagement of Cube, Timeless, Brawl, Gladiator, like all of these different things. Any of the events that they have. Order of White Clay was not on my list. That took so much restraint to not mention Order of White Clay. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to attack even if they have the Wandering Emperor. Please don't tide binder me. Yeah, I mean, I love Order of White Clay, but I look at the untap symbol and I'm like, you know, if, I mean, that's another example. It's like, you know, if including this means that they have to program the untap symbol, not saying it's necessarily that difficult. I, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend. I always assume that things are going to be more difficult than they, they could be. It's better to err on the side of this will require somebody doing some actual work to get this done. Um but like, it's like, you know what? Eh, they don't need to. Oh, they have Halo, Halo Fountain? Great. Then that's fine. Oh, I should have played this before. They are not firing anything off. I don't think I want to play the Gent. Yeah, I don't think I need to play the gent here. I already have a bunch of pressure. I'm just going to pop this gate. Oh, it doesn't have the untap symbol? Oh, it doesn't have the untap symbol. But it is... kind of a part of the cost. Either way. Are they trying to set up a Wrath with a Counterspell backup? That might be the case. I mean, MH3 was not as chaotic as the other two modern environments for introducing... Ooh for introducing like mechanics or whatnot, but you know, um, they still managed to get an MH3 on here. That takes a lot. My artifacts, you know who? This is the best thing to resolve. But I can double spell this way. So I'm going to double spell this way. Ha! <laughs> 
Curd Ape is not on Arena. Curd Ape would be cool. Neither is Lone Lion. Nor Sky Shroud Elite. I do have Bomberman listed as a card I would like to get. The Merc Lurker? <clears throat> so, unfortunately, this... Uh, do I want to exile that? I can ping you to one. I think I like pinging you as opposed to killing this. Yeah, Nakato's on Arena. I would like Imp Recruiter. I think Imperial Recruiter would be cool and good. I mean, pushing to have some cards and like pushing to have like modern on Arena would be sick, obviously. Holy crap, I would spend so much money. But also, it sounds like it'd be miserable. Okay, we got there. Yeah, I just like bolting them because then they're pressured to get this thing off the board. It's unfortunate that I had to play my Besaju, but... It's okay. Yeah, I don't think Modern is going to arrive to Arena. I don't have that expectation. But it would be cool. It's not wholly un like foreseeable too, right? Like it feels that was a very good draw. Modern necessitates the universes beyond sets. Well, the ones that we have are also just on uh like we already have the UB sets that are in modern, right? We have, uh, I guess, just Lord of the Rings. Mm. Oh, Recruiter of the Guard. Recruiter of the Guard's kind of hot. Oh. Never mind. I hate fucking Recruiter of the Guard. <laughs> fucking Recruiter of the Guard. I've really nailed the Dark Souls ah sound. The oh, that one. Ah, oh, oh. Exiled farewell. We take those. I kind of wish we had different solitude art. I really like Campbell White, but I'm not a huge fan of the solitude art. Just use this. Ah. Uh. Uh, I'm going to demo feel this castle. Or I could demo feel the gate. I don't want to demo feel. I feel like the castle is going to cause me more grief. Hold on. 
Oh, I can't do it here. Huh? Huh? What? Auto pay. Weird. Very weird. Okay, that's fine. Is not did not hit the counter spell that I was hoping to hit. Or did not uh I mean they wouldn't be able to counter spell anyways, but Fierce Empath. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven mana. What is Amrakul at right now? A paltry 12. Uh, I could get this Vaultborn Tyrant. Uses up all my treasures. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I play that next turn to turn to Symbiosis. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah. This card's good into Wrath. I could have got prime time because I assume whatever I'm getting is countered. This deck should maybe play Carnage Tyrant too. Now that blue is so much better. Carnage Tyrant's really good if people are casting Solitude and Counterspell and stuff. Oh yeah, there's a new North 100 showdown that went live today. I, I played a Landfall deck. Where was played a GP? It's in the list. I and I killed with landfall cards too. It's not like I didn't do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look, it's not my fault he didn't play around the Berserk. I even told him I had the Berserk. <laughs> I told him that I was going to kill him. Okay. We are unfortunately at the part of this kind of matchup where now I just feel like I can't win. Because we've had a bunch of our stuff answered and now we know that they have another counter spell. Or I guess I should say we're at the part of the game where I can start attacking. Aha. They didn't even activate this. Right, they haven't activated this yet. Ooh. Seek the wilds. Oi, Samu, how you doing? Oh, good. So now I know they have another counter spell here.
Seek is basically just like somebody plucks a card from your deck and puts it in your hand. They let this resolve? I mean, I assume this was on the way. Um, yeah. It being Sunfall is a little bit of a pisser. Because then we don't get the cav trigger. Oh, the channel points did not get refunded. That's not good. Uh, let me see. Well, that's sound alerts. I don't want that. They message me? Enough. Let me, yeah, let me figure out what I can do for you. Uh, yeah, that's fine. If I can't, it's not coming up on the queue for refunding. So that I'm just going to have to give you the 250,000 points. Or if you just want to do another, uh, maybe not a stipulation draft because we're doing this, but... Voxy, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you been? No background music? There's very low background music. Uh, I hope you had a good stream. Drafting some Modern Horizons 3. Ooh. Some MH3. It's very low. Potentially, you can't even hear it. That's good. That's working as planned. Because either you hear nothing or you hear a tiny bit. And either way, I don't have to deal with people complaining about the audio. Every streamer's dream. This counterspell is taunting me. Have they, have they played draw spells? Not really. They haven't gone up on cards. But they also haven't been spending cards. Uh, all right. Well, if I get a big card off of this, yeah, that's big enough that I'll consider keeping it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we finally got the counter spell, but I'll concede. 
Save us some time for match three. Or game three. Now I'm going to bring an Emrakul. Yeah, I think I keep this hand. Layer of the Hydra is pretty good. Don't solitude my Lotus Cobra. I know you're thinking about it. I know you're thinking about it. Don't. Actually, this is good for me. Yeah, this is fine. Ooh. Boom, I got a threat. Nissa. Destroying my Nissa. Okay. I'm gonna just draw a card. The goose. Do I need more like proactive cards in this deck? Gwenna. Yeah, let me let me see what I can do, and then I'll I'll let you know. I'll DM you. Uh, this doesn't hit anything, but I do want a Gwenna. Brain Surge is so good. This card is like the perfect card for Gladiator. Oh, there's an eyelash on my glasses. That's what it is. I was like, why? Why does it feel like I got an eyelash stuck on my on my eye? I mean, Brain Surge in this spot gets a little bit worse because there's no fetch. I'm not going to attack into settle. Don't want to expose it yet. What are you looking at? You're looking at a brain surging. Hmm, interesting. I would have imagined they would have played this and traded with the Lanoir Visionary. Oh, they're just attacking. You got a Wrath? You got Ephemerate? No, you got a Wrath. Yeah. You're at the airport watching me stream and you thought that's pretty neat? Yeah, it's pretty neat. Oh. Good thing I have the answer for exactly this. Although, uh, it doesn't matter now. They've already got their value out of this. Um... Don't really want a thief of existence this. Memory lapse. Uh 
Why is GT now one point? Uh, good news. I recorded an entire video talking about it. Uh, well, not, not an entire video about that. Uh, no, it's going to be on YouTube uh, later today, after the stream. I mean, I could probably get it up. Oh. Instant speed fractured identity. I feel like I've lost this game. This deck needs Carnage Tyrant if I'm going to be able to compete with this kind of thing. Uh, for me. I mean, there will be... We're hoping to schedule an explanation video go up on Lur as well. I do have a cityscape leveler to deal with. This game has slipped out of my hands. Unfortunately. I need to like draw heater after heater in order for this to do anything. Instant speed, farewell. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> All right, natural order is off the ban list. <laughs> uh, GG's, WP's. All right, I wanted to add this, and uh, I'm glad that that matchup at least showed the perfect example. Um, some of these cards, so the, the rampant growth effects are pretty weak. There's a chance I should get rid of this into the north too. But if I'm doing that, it's there. Like a four drop I could be playing here. Honestly, bristlebud farmer might be okay. Yeah, I could play quarterback. Ooh, canopy tactician. Oh, this is kind of hot. Could play defense of the heart. Three or more creatures is so many creatures. That's arguably too many creatures. Um, Could play... What do you do again? No, I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. Could play cat car. Cat car's not bad. This Garrick might actually be fine. It sits down and starts ticking. Yeah, or I could play Garrick Relentless. Should probably play this Garrick. Maybe it's outdated. This one just going to be better. This one can make the Eldrazi cheaper. The big idiots in our hand much cheaper. Um, yeah, it might just be that. Play Nylea. I think I like the Garrick. I'm less I'm look I'm I'm less so looking for like a big donkey and more just want to play something that'll provide like card advantage ideally. Right? Cuz right now we're missing the like the part of the hoof deck. It's not a hoof deck proper, but we're missing the part of the hoof deck where we can like kind of mid-range ish. 
I mean, Harmonize, honestly, not that bad of a suggestion. Uh, all right. Who's up next? Mishra's a bobble. Please fight me. Uh, before I do, I got to pee one second. Give me a second. The Eldrazi hoof uh, decimator. Yes, this isn't a hoof deck, though. That's that's a, a different deck. This is like ramp into. I mean, I can show it because some we got some new folks in here. This is like a mono green Eldrazi like. Yeah, I'm looking to hit a shitload of mana. I've got big donkeys up here. If anything, maybe I need one more big donkey. But I feel like this is okay. Yeah, I think. Four claw reduces cost of big things, but it's just a, it's, she's just a body with stats. She's one game object object. I need something that's like multiple game objects. Uh, Mistress Bobble, are you blessed rains by chance? I'm going to assume, hi. All right, I'll believe you. Pest infestation. I don't think I need pest infestation. I don't know what good that would do. I mean, it, it is kind of nice. Gargaroth, maybe. No ETB though. That's a bit trickier to do nowadays. Uh, One second. Let me get my opening hand and then I got to run to the washroom. Hi, Bulber. Oh yeah, this hand's great. I'm going to keep this for one second. Uh, one sec, wash. Sand is clutch. Oh. Keep it. He first letting me know that Lenny goes absolutely wild chasing around a slowly oh being chased by a slowly deflating balloon. Huge news. Massive news. This is incredible. What a development. I'm back at it again. <laughs> what was that? Mauler made a big like, oh, and then give me a little like, ow. Very cute. Uh... Oh, 
Hi. Where are you? All right, there you are. There's my baby. Thank you. I mean, I can get it if you're sore. I think against Rafine's Tower, this. I could have added Cavern of Souls on Elf. I still may do that. Yeah. But I kind of want to get this Palantir. Every time Mulder starts yelling, Kiefer starts singing um, Maroon 5. Because the idea is that Mulder is a wine mom. Yeah. Are you a wine mom? Are you a wine mom? Are you a wine mom? Wow, so many game actions over a single orb. Um and I kinda like this Castle Garen break. Yeah, I'm gonna keep keep. I like both these cards actually, because I can cast the thief off the cavern. Mulder responsible enough to be a mom? Probably. Yeah. I never said she'd be a good mother. I think Mulder would be a good we've actually had this conversation. <laughs> I think Mulder would be a good mom. I think Mulder would love her kittens. Uh, I'm going to name Elf. Yeah. Yeah. It's making big noises at me. Uncounterable. Oh. Well, I'm glad I didn't attack. Does this draw a card? Oh, wait. This, I never realized how poorly this lines up. Oh. Um, well, I'll take that. Holy shit, they milled, right? They they could force me to draw so they can ping something? Could have killed Deathrite if they wanted to. I believe I am going to Thief of Existence, this Orcish Bowmasters. Damn, they got a lot of colors of mana. Non-creature? This? No, Bowmasters can hit anything. But this card's not real. Now, now I'm the tempo deck. I'm going to play this. I'm going to exile. Oh, this is non-creature. No! Oh, I scared the cat. <laughs> uh, I mean... That's fine. I just wanted to get pressure on the board. Yeah, I just wanted to get this. I just wanted a 3 4. <laughs> Fuck. They're at 10. A 3 4 is going to kill him. Are you putting something in the oven? I oh, don't mind. The fact that this can find solitude is so sick for our format. have a new hairdo every day. <laughs> Why be you and you can be me? <laughs> when you 
you could be me. Oh yeah? Hey Twitch chat, does anybody remember the Canadian PSA of why be you when you could be me? That was a different one though. That one is literally for Workplace BC. What is Canada? Well, The Bang Bang Scissor Gang song? No, the, ba the, bang, the new Bang Bang Gang. Oh, okay. The, the good one that was like, doo, doo, doo. It's got the hoots and the horns. Oh, I liked the... Bram, 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 bram. That's what it is. Oh, okay. The one that sounds like it's from um, uh, Aladdin. <laughs> Am I wrong? I mean, I guess. It sounds like the... Oh, we got a guns up in chat. It sounds like it's from Aladdin, right? They're like, what up, wah, wah, wah. It's a wah, what up, wah, what up, wah, wah. They come out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus. I didn't know what you were doing. You're going to shove something in your ear. Yeah. Also, it's a headphone that is not. You live like this? You can't, you can't touch the bottom. I'm not touching shit. You, you touch the bottom. That's just Sebastian. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Juice is back. Don't ruin us. I have some. No spoilers. No, we yeah, no spoilers. We we're just, not, we're not cut up yet. We just, we just finished Dynasty. This one's so good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I, I like it. Yeah, we've only just finished Dynasty. And when everyone was yelling, uh, please retire at Jericho. <laughs> and when, yeah, everybody was screaming, please retire at Jericho. Ooh, another orb. How long was, ago was Dynasty? May? We're not that far behind. Have I seen the official Nintendo approved commercial where Mario says that if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die? Who do you think voiced Mario in that? It It's a me. Oh, Dynasty was April. No, we, what year was that? We watched the 2020 all out stadium stampede. Um, it was so good. What happened to my board? Oh, I literally just had one card. What happened to their hand? They mulligan into the dirt? All right. About to show you all the, the power of Priest of Titania. The first COVID one with Matt Hardy? Yeah, I think so. Where Matt Hardy just changes. Yeah, the pool of reincarnation. Abusing magic. Yeah. How dare <laughs> you? No. Oh, siege rhino. I'm on a siege rhino diet. I siege rhino and I. Oh, fuck. I for... uh, I'm going to cast this. Although I can cast this, play a land. I think this is going to actually be the same. Uh, Max Arcade, welcome to the stream. Thank you for subscribing and joining the channel. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you for the support. Ahoy, L. How you doing? How's it going? Ahoy, Plachow. What up? Uh, points change discussion. It was good. It was good. Don't reprieve me. I got a solitude again. Mm. 
I can now add six. I knew they had fucking solitude again. No! Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Was it because I wasn't... Was I not under full control? Shit. Uh... I mean, it's probably fine. Very annoying. Uh, because it was a mana ability. It was a mana ability under full control. And the game was like, it's a mana ability. I don't know why it turned into, um... Gumby's horse. I think that's who that is. Uh, yeah, the, uh... You played Null and Elemental Blast? Oh... I've got a spicy Boros ruin your evening build. I'm still on Soul Wardens, but I'm only on the one mana ones now and Distinguish Conjurer, but I think that card's crack. And Oriok Champion. <laughs> Tried to counter an Uro. What's the red for? Uh, Recruiter of the Guard, uh, Aomer. No flage. I do like flage though. Okay, are you gonna do this in a way that can screw me? Oh, we're fine. <laughs> Behold! It's so big. Uh, I, this does let me, uh, I was gonna say eat a lot, drink a lot of food. This death rate, so big. Yeah, the snake's going to tap for a bajillion. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to put both these on top because if they mill me, then they're taking approximately a quadrillion. Booty bounce. Hmm. Am I cashing this in? One, two, three, four, five. No, this card's like absurd, right? Actually, hold on. I can have my cake and eat it too. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Kiefer. Where is my... I showed you my Nissa. Please respond. You're not going to settle the wreckage me, are you? I can play this Kozilek. I don't think I want to, though. I thought I would want to. There's no way they settle me. If they settle me, I deserve to lose. That's because that's just so sick. But I'm, I'm pushing... What is this? 26 damage? Eggs. Yeah, we we pushed a bunch of damage there. Wow, I got the golden ticket. 
Uh, S Chaos Agent, welcome back for the 16th month. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you on May I say good to see you. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, GG's Mishers Bubble WPs. Out of curiosity, what's your what what is your deck? Are you on like uh dark band mid-range? Ooh. Okay. Four color blank. Oh hell yeah. Oh yeah. God, the elementals are so good with blank stuff. Uh one second. Uh, Griffin, excuse me. Uh, let me. Okay. The only cards I need from MH3 now are Flage, Linebreaker, Ral, Drake, and Ocelot Pride. Phyrexian Tower, we already have on Arena. Kalia, I'm not super convinced. And then the, the fetches we have. So I guess I do have the. In I, I basically have the entire set, which is good. Oh yeah, Baragoyf is cracked. It uh As soon as I saw that card, I'm like, oh, this might just be the best card in the set. Uh, I think everybody has snow covered wastes. You can't craft those. It's very they do this every time with the lands. It's very awkward, but whatever. I had another kind of idea <laughs> for Ruin Your Evening, but I'm kind of embarrassed by it. It was a version with opposition. Well, who am I to say no to the orb? Get this little rascal down here. Oh. Forceful cultivator plus fire of cultivation is pretty hot. Blue moon? Yeah, I'd like to test blue moon in the format now. Oh, mana drained. Oh. Okay, well, if they're strictly blue moon here, then, speaking of blue moon, if they're strictly blue moon here, this is pretty bad. But if they're just sky, eggs, I mean, this eggs, isn't great, but it's not the end of the world. Mbop, welcome back for the 43rd month. How are you doing? How you been? Thank you so much for all the support. When you call it cephalid breakfast here, do you... Are you, you mean in Gladiator or Canlander Cephalid Breakfast? Because I've been meaning to update Canlander Cephalid Breakfast for a while. I had it built, I mean, before the pandemic, and it honestly wasn't that bad. Um, here's my forceful cultivator. Hello. Takoyaki Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, Takoyaki Tuesday is pretty powerful. It's pretty good. I, yeah, the errata to the Cephalids is like, you know, I shouldn't really. Like, it doesn't impact me that much, but it is one of those things where I hear it and I'm like, I would, like, come on, let us enjoy, like, I, I hate errata on creature types like that. Hate it. Hate it so much. Oh, fuck, that's not what I want. They EI'd. E-eyed, E-eyed, oh. I gotta work through some of their counter spells here. Oh. Did 
a stifle? Like a brazen borrower. Yoink. Um, yeah, you know what? You are low enough that I'm going to put you to six. Why is this not working the way I want it to? There we go. Uh, I'm trying to multitask while my Jeskai opponent does Jeskai stuff. Ah? Huh? I am excited for the Bloomboro rabbits. Uh, actually, let's let's try to chunk you. Not with that. A great creature out of part three. Yeah, are homerids and cr and camerids going to turn into crabs? Varmint? Yeah, exactly. It's so... I, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. The fairy three. Mm. Oh, this is a fucking Lotus Cobra. <laughs> uh, four. Like, I feel like they're priced into countering this either way. Oh my god, they didn't. All right. Um, gosh, what do I get? I could just get Timeless Witness. don't think they're a Wrath of God deck. They may be. I could get Oracle Moldiah. I think I want Timeless Witness. Because if they are a Wrath of God deck, it's nice to have a Timeless Witness in the graveyard. Four, five, six. Not this. Do I just want to run it back, potentially? I think I just want Lance. Oh, I should have played Paradise Druid. Oops. Because now they could potentially kill the Cobra. Sure. We can grab the gate. Eh. You know what's something I'd like on Arena? More utility lands. By that, I, I got all, all for for full transparency. When I said that in my head, I was like, "Yeah, I want." Well, what the? Why is this not working? For full transparency, in my head, I'm like, "Yeah, I want dark decks," and like that's not what you meant, dude. Why is this window so fucking big? 
yeah, you the utility of Dark Depths. It's really good at uh, killing my opponent. Bouncing my Cobra. Really rude. Well... I'm going to try to attack you. We do not have Valakut. We have Scape Shift. I mean, I wouldn't mind Valakut. Just as long as there's no Amulet of Vigor. Valkit Exploration. Okay, they're at one. Oh, that's a good draw. They're at one. They've got a Brazen Borrower in hand. I will get to this one. I like Valakut as long as Amulet of Vigor is not involved. Once Amulet of Vigor gets involved, it's just like, what are we doing here? Come on. What, ooh, what are we doing here? So they're dead on board unless they play a blocker. Oh, that's a good draw. I mean, I could play this. Is this what I want to do? They solitude my Ulamog? I, I would gain a million life. But I feel like they're going to solitude. They would sol... Well, it's my Vaultborn. Vaultborn Tyrant might actually be more likely to end the game. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. Or I could go for Vaultborn Tyrant knowing that they don't have counter spells. Because I have this. I'm going to decline. Mm. Actually, this I think is the correct call to make. I'm going to keep it on that. Really just push them to get rid of this. They could chump block Solitude, my Vaultborn Tyrant. Uh, they chump block Solitude, the Vaultborn Tyrant, and then they bounce the Lotus Cobra. But then I get to play this Ulamog. Can I Solitude? Can I get back this Witness instead? I kind of like the life gain and the card draw from this. So I'm going to do this. <clears throat> it's Eugene's Hole. I don't know if I played this turn very well. Because after putting the double map on this, I'm like, oh, they don't even need to. They just chump block. But I guess the idea of this is that they won't have a good answer for this Ulamog. And I am not at risk of dying. Keeping this up, huh? Uh, 
Yeah, they're bouncing that. They're cashing it in. Den of the bugbear. I don't trust Auto Tapper to not fuck this up somehow. Here's my uncounterable Ulamog. <laughs> 15 15 ward sack two permanence. I could just sack two lands, but. And it has Annihilator 8. <laughs> That's pretty funny. They got lands to be able to get rid of this, but. Uh, oof, all right. From the opener, <laughs> Annihilator a bajillion. Annihilator bajillion. There you go. Uh, this doesn't have any acceleration. I'm gonna mulligan this. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna put you on the bottom. We have acceleration. And it's a two lander. Forceful cultivator, pretty good. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, this, this. Solitude, my absence pilgrim. You thinking about it? You thinking about it, bruv? Oi, bruv, you thinking about it? Oi, bruv. Rav, you thinking about it? Oh, one second. You're going to hear double wheeler for a second here. Done. Okay. All right, great. I will be playing into their double spell because I need mana. I'm hungry. Me hungry for mana. Why did I say that out loud? The decrease. On to... trying to get this VOD up earlier rather than later so that people so that it is still within this range of like technically it's an upload on the 12 because people care about that people care about that I don't think they're a Wrath of God deck yeah I don't think they're a Wrath of God deck uh, Hero Girls, thank you for the raid. Welcome, folks. 
We are playing some Gladiator. We are playing some Gladiator. Uh, MH3 is legal in Gladiator. And we got some cool cards. None of which are on screen right now. But you gotta believe me. I'm getting subtletied. One of the cool cards may be on screen if, if I am getting subtletied. Ooh. Um, I think I'm going to value getting a fetch land more than Lair of the Hydra. Oh. The fetch land represents more cards. The Lair itself is a card. If I go fetch land and then I go Nissa into fetch, I think I just, yeah, I think Lair is just, Better. Don't want to overthink it. I got this Timeless Witness anyways. I hope you had a good stream. I'm doing all right. About the <laughs> doing okay. We have some cool some cool changes happen to Canlander. Uh playing some Gladiator. I like all the changes that have happened to Gladiator too. For some of these cards, I want to... Like Jesus, dude, shut up. <laughs> hey, where'd my, where'd my thing go? Get that swords out of there. Get myself a verdant catacomb. I just think I want to keep hitting my land drops. You. Get in there. Get in there. Do I really want to double spell here? Gives me uncounterable Ugin. I don't think I will though. I, I think their hand is probably bad. Like it's not doing anything. And like this delighted halfling is likely very vulnerable in the first place. Even if it sticks, it's probably just dying. So I think I want to make the a more conservative play. I think here, though, I'm going to try to resolve Primeval Titan. Four. What do I have? Four. Five from Landfall. Six, seven, eight. So I can actually get the... Uh, the gate. Subtlety. Heck of a magic card. Yeah, I'll put it on top.
Teferi is pretty big. I'm going to try to pressure Teferi. Going to cast a Primeval Titan. See, now this is a spot where I think I'm okay playing this halfling, even if I give them a loot. Holy shit, never mind. I mean, this is pretty good. Ooh. Um, yeah. I'll do this. They get to they get to loot here. But because I get to triple spell, I think I like it. And this replaces itself too. Well now I mean, if they Wrath, it's so bad for me anyways. Sure, why not? Do we have other elementals aside from Titania? What? We don't even have Titania. Titania is not in the deck. Um, we, I think I'm on Endurance. Maybe I was like humming and hawing Endurance. Chandra. This feels like the kind of matchup that we're hoping to get, though, where, like, they're hoping to go one for one, and then, um, yeah, kind of mid-range me out. They can bounce the Primeval Titan. Oh yeah, the raccoon. I forgot that the raccoon is an elemental. That's cute. All right, well. Seven, eight, nine, 10. 11. You know, I should probably attack before doing this. But it's just so much work to untap. <laughs> it's just so much work to untap and redo that all. Oh, I should have attacked with the uh, Timeless Witness clone as well. Yeah, QQ will untap it. It's the fact that I have to retap it and then I go to combat. And... Look, I'm going to level with you. I don't think I'm losing this game. I don't think there's a draw my opponent can have where I lose this game. 
And that's usually hubris. But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing's changed at all? Like, swords into Zemrakul doesn't... Well, first off, you can't do it. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Let's tuck to fairy. Let's go to combat. Let's make some blocks. I'm going to animate this blue and a red. I'm going to blow up my own land. And then I'm going to play Play that. Play this. Oh, it fucking auto tapper. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but <sighs> auto tapper. No. I was going to try and find a. Uh... Uh, I was going to try to find a blue so I could counterspell it. I mean, again, I don't know how much this matters. Okay. How mid is New Lamog? I mean, we played it, and it won the game. I don't know if it needed to be new Lamog in order to do that, but we played it. It, uh, it won the game. GGWP. G G Griffin. Um, I got a, I got an email. Kind of email people. All right. Uh, all may mighty cheddar, please fight me. The almighty cheddar. Hmm. Subtle would have been pretty good. Settle the wreckage would have been pretty good. Ooh, I'm on the play. No, this is just too risky. Ooh. Hard cast cultivate into Kogla? Yes, please. Uh, exclamation mark join. That's how you join the queue. Yeah, I gotta I gotta figure out what's going on with the um the Q system. Forsaken crossroads. Here's a battle. Ramp, 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 ramp. Do 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 do. I need to eat something. Uh, 
Ramp room. Ramp. Oh, I forgot that I have a gummy. <laughs> I forgot I had a gummy. Get a little sugar. Do 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 do. Oh, they got a witch enchanter. Wait, do they think that this battle is a? Oh no. They may already have um, what's my call it? Think. Hmm. I think I want a big flyer. By a big flyer. I mean a seven mana three five goo three five goose. Yeah, the fact that recruiting can find a land is so sick. Magic hot take? Mm. Magic hot take. I think sealed is... Especially with the changes to how the pack distribution is done. I think it's just terrible. Like embarrassingly bad at least on like at least if you're playing on a level where there's something for keeps like a pre-release is whatever although you can argue that the pre-release experience with the new upgraded kits is uh also bad for people Are they on Esper Humans? If so, that rules. Here's a key aura. Yeah, it's um it's pretty shit. Especially with lands in the rare slot. Don't think that's that ideal. I mean, that was always bad. Do they have solitude in hand? I feel like I'm always going to be paranoid about solitude now. If they happen to have a, like a kill a small creature or whatever, an attacking creature, I would rather not get goozled here. I would like to transform this so I could draw a card. Oh, it's got to be sitting somewhere. Or an alias. I need to, you know what I need to do? I need to make a spreadsheet. That's what I need to do. Fuck, it's always a spreadsheet. I'm a spreadsheet guy. I need to make a spreadsheet. I believe I just have it done. Unfortunately, I'm the modern day equivalent of a uh, an old monk at a desk with a bunch of scrolls. Uh, I'm not going to do anything. Eh. I don't think they're going to have a wrath effect. I mean, they could. They could be on blue-white, but I, I don't know. The fact... They've only shown me humans. I love spreadsheets. We're spreadsheet guys. <laughs> I saw a picture or like a video. I guess it was a picture from a video. I saw a picture of the, the family because there's like a younger kid too that's involved with some of the stuff. 
And the description was Squirtle, War Turtle, Blastoise. And I thought that was incredibly funny. Oh, hell yeah. This is a sick get. Oh, shit. I didn't know that they were doing this. Well, I might lose. Oh, fuck this card. Yeah, that card's wild. And very good against us. That was not ideal. Mm. I may have lost the game. Do I have any gods in here? I think the Eldrazi should be gods. Are they not gods? I have zero gods in my list. No, I mean, are they not gods in the, like, um, in the lore? False gods? False god is still a god. Okay, well, at least right now, they don't have the black mana to cast Vona. But this card is disgusting with uh, Soul Herder. I mean, this is already disgusting. I need to draw a big mana card. Or else I just lose. Like, this is going to slowly eat away at my board. By slowly, I mean very quickly. Gods don't get the god type, or false gods don't. I guess Corona is an avatar. Okay, this is one way that we can actually come back from this. Oh, thank Christ. <laughs> oh. Um. I mean. Do this. I'm one mana off doing both Vorin clicks. Well, hold on. Oh, I should have made, I should have, no, I'm not one man off. I'm two man off, right? No, I'm one man off. I should have found another untapped land with foreign clicks. Whoops. Um, I mean, I feel like this Ugin is still just the thing to do. 
I just Ugin for five. Wrath the board. <clears throat> Leave Vorinclex. I could also Ugin and not wrap the board and just shoot the solitude. But I don't want them to soul her to recruit her the guard. So I think I'm going to just do this. I can Ugin to get rid of Wingus and Dingus. I kind of want to get rid of the Solitude, though. Like, if I'm getting rid of everything... I mean, if I get it rid of the Vorinclex, then I have to get rid of the Vorinclex. If I do it for three, then I leave the Solitude, and they could just blink the Solitude. I mean, honestly, I should probably just shoot Solitude. I think considering I fucked up, I should just shoot Solitude here. I didn't really have an attack there. I think if I don't fuck up and I get the untapped land, then I can do both. I can have my cake and eat it too. But also, Solitude is the the scariest card that they have. Great. So now we could do it for four. Like, by getting rid of the Solitude there, now we could do it for four. I think I played that turn very poorly. But... Uh, that said, I don't know how many, uh, is this ETB or what oh, is? I don't know how much it matters. Cause I could, I can do this for minus four. So I can fetch quest. I mean, I should add a shitload of mana, then Ugin, then fetch quest. Oh, this thing's a five. Why did I think this was a four? Urtai. No, I know that the specialized changes the mana value. For some reason, oh, you know why? Because I, because normally this card is three. I was thinking of the normal one, like the the actual Lazelle, not the arena Lazelle. Mm. Okay, so. Here we could just get this Vorinclex. Do I have an attack I want to make? Three. I could leave Lazelle. Do it for three. Let's go for a fetch quest. Let's fetch quest to see if we could just kill somebody. Nope. Onto the battlefield. I should have just got a land. Uh, I guess this increases my devotion. I don't think I have a good attack. I could also just blow up this recruiter, the guard. <laughs> no, soul herder, no! Okay, we hit some good ones. Uh, 
you and you. Shifting, yeah, shifting's got to be there. Uh, all right, well, let's spin the Golos. <laughs> I can do it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we got there. Took a little work. Took a little fucking up, but we got there. Oh, what up, Nelly? If anyone plays an alchemy card, it's no longer my fault. I lost the game reading any mistakes. Same for opponent. It's always alchemy's fault. This isn't a joke. I'm not funny. I mean, you're not wrong. I, oh, it took a lot of restraint to not just give you a dagger. Um, yeah, I'm not going to fucking remember. I remember an alchemy card until I have to read the like real world equivalent of it. And then I forget it. So like you could have asked me what did Lizelle do or what Vaconia does. And I'm like, yeah, I'll tell you. Of course I'll tell you. And then all of a sudden, like, if you asked me what Vaconia, like, like I could have told you what every Vaconia did when it specialized. Now, if you ask me Vaconia, I'm going to be like, it's an oversold cemetery that you pick a background for. Huh? <laughs> what? Vaconia is, uh, that's the XL one. It's like a two mana, two, three, pay one generic to XL and specialize for two. No! Arnar. Arnar. What does gut do on arena? I don't know. It's like a six drop and it's terrible. I wish Gut was just... Why Why did they do that? It's, it's for the choose a background, right? Gut lets you choose a background? Who gives a shit? The amount of play we have with the alchemy ones or the paper ones the real ones? I mean, I hate to break it to you. But I do think more people play formats that are not Gladiator than do play Gladiator. I feel like you know that. Uh, but, you know, it's an unfortunate reality that we all have to deal with. Uh, I'm going to play this for the sake of mana efficiency. Yeah, I want a, want a card. I want to land. Haha. -ha. Wait, fuck. No, that's good. I kept the land. Disciplined. Disciplined. Behold, now I get to play a tree. The tree blocks, but they have four cards in hand. They're they're going to kill me. Oh fuck, I forgot about the bowmasters. Bye, Kiora. We still, we take these. Nothing happened to Gonti. Ha ha ha. Behold my nine drop. Oh shit, it's actually holding them back. Let's fucking go. Now, I want to get this gate, but if I draw one of the three mana elves, I'm going to be a little peeved. Okay, I'm a little peeved. Eh, I can use this. I can still use the mana. We just have more ones and twos than three mana elves, and this is going to draw me a card, so I'm going to keep that. Oh, <gasps> the dog. What the dog doing? What is the dog doing? Curious about some of the cards that we would get if we made this change to alchemy. 
Are there cards that legal and alchemy and then minus, I guess what? Legal and alchemy minus legal timeless is the syntax. Griefing. Are the I okay? Do they, they have an ephemerate? Oh, right. Two hundred and forty cards. No, my gate. We're still kind of holding down the fort, though. Losing Kozilek's a bit of a pisser, but we currently have a reasonable board. And like the Savella may just pop off. The Black Splash? Oh, it's just for uh, Deathrite Shaman. I got a Deathrite Shaman, uh, but it also lets me play, like I wanted some Surveil Lands, and it also let me play... Um, Let me play uh, like a, an extra colorless land. Okay. That's fair. GG's Almighty Cheddar, WP's. You know, I gotta tell you, I can't stop thinking about the alchemy, allowing alchemy and gladiator. Like the, uh, the ones that have been adjusted. My deck loves to give me the opposite of what I want. Oh, yeah. Boy, do I know that feeling. Eldrazi, am I right? Five Mana Minskaboo? Thankfully, Five Mana Minskaboo has been banned from Gladiator. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll keep this in. Yes, I mean cards like Five Mana Minskaboo. Uh... Do I want comment on arena? What? No. God, no. I don't want anything to do. I, I don't want comment near me. Get that fucking dog away from me. <laughs> mm, I guess I should set up the world tree. It's pretty strong. We already have the Nykthos anyways. Ooh, land tax. Uh-oh. Well, this land tax is going to draw them a bunch of cards. Um, yeah, I think I've lost this game, though. Until I draw a big idiot. But Mono White, White is pretty good at dealing with my big idiots. It's pretty, pretty gross. Pretty gross. Have they made any adjusted for alchemy cards in 2023? Mm. 
I don't want to get settled, and I don't want to get Wandering Emperor too badly. I think I've lost this game, though. My hand is all lands. If they play a Wandering Emperor or anything that's relevant, then I'm pretty screwed. Oh, I guess I should have fetched. Because if I draw the, the tap land, it'll feel, feel pretty bad. Yeah, the Power Stone cards were just, I guess, when they brought it back. But I mean, like, they didn't do adjustments for uh, anything after Dominaria United, right? Unless, wait, was Capenna before or after Dominaria United? <laughs> oh, shit. Before, okay, great. <laughs> just a split second. Like, they haven't done... Oh, Geological Appraiser? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, this card was... Geological Appraiser. I'll get... I'll give that card a bit of a, a... A big old asterisk. Yeah. Yeah, Geological Appraiser's not a real magic card, Mulder. Haven't you heard? You have so many lands in hand. I'm still going to keep attacking with this. Oh, I saw the, um, eggs, eggs, the change eggs. to the change to the, uh, uh, instead of deal three to everything or deal three to anything, make a power zone at, at like instant. It's now, Three mana sorcery, deal four to creature or planeswalker, make one. I don't know. I need to look over these, but it seems like it's a net positive change at this point in the game. <sighs> Danger Diabolique, welcome back for the 16th month. How you doing? How you been? Thank you so much for all the support. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Oh, it's so it was sorcery and now it's an instant. All right, here's hoping they don't have a reprieve. I mean, I can still... Sure, that's fine. Uh, extraction Specialist and Stroke of Midnight. Is this a May? Um, how many cards in hand? Six, so I go up to nine, then I go up to 10, and I can just discard the good ones. Sure. Oh, and it would exile. I see. So you have 10 cards in hand. I mean, I could just get rid of all the good shit. What if I played this? Get back that. <clears throat> what? Where is it? I assume it's exiled? You still have eight cards. Oh, what'd you do? Yeah, <laughs> are you attacking something? You have eight cards in hand. I want you to discard this Orm's chant. Okay, they got one draw. Gotta tell you, I'd be a little peeved if their one draw was something to do with Emrakul. Of course. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they still have nothing but lands in their hand. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, just like that.
We call that the AMC special. Red, a green. I'll sack this. Add a green. Ooh, that's kind of hot. I'm going to cast this before I Gwenna. I think a draw four is pretty good here. Oh yeah, the the card that was like a four drop and now it's a one or a two drop. Holy shit. I mean, I can timeless witness back the thing. Um, timeless witness back the disciple of frailies i'm going to play i get two land drops wow how come your mom lets you have two land Um, I can get a mortuary here, right? Four, five, six, so I can play both. Mortuary. I don't want an invasion of Zendikar. I think it is better for me to play the Nykthos and play this and Gwenna. I have drawn quite a few lands. Also, runner, runner from you <laughs> makes this seem a lot worse than it should be. A little salt is a treat. Okay. Creating a samurai is fine. That's fine. Got to discard a bunch of planes. The lighted halfling. Okay, so I am going to tap for green, green. Uh, I kind of want to sack the Gwenna. Green, green, and that. Oh, power four or greater. Mm. This Mooly Dooly seems pretty bad, but I could also grab, I think gra sacking the witness is the correct call. I mean, I draw one more card. I think the Mooly Dooly is actually the worst card here. Holy shit. Well, I can at least do this.
I have so many elves. Minus four. Grab the orb. We'll play the orb. Play this. Yeah, hi, Mulder. All right. Well, we just need to get a big idiot. That may do it. Unfortunately, my timeless witness is, uh, well, my timeless witness is timeless witness. It's, uh, not the actual version. Okay, they drew a non-link. They drew a link. Good. I'm older. That was almost real bad. Keep this hand. Uh, yeah. Yep. Land tax. Yeah, I sure hope it does. Okay, as long as they're playing up on the land tax, then that's okay. Ooh. I don't want you drawing cards. They may just fail to find. If they do, do I fail to find? Don't be silly, Ben. Oh, don't be silly, Mulder. Mm, I don't think I want Glenna. Uh, that'll take. <laughs> We're a ways away. But I believe. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven? I mean, I could tuck the Ulamog under this. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Holy shit. Can I just do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? <laughs> this fucking card. <laughs> uh, <laughs> woo! Yeah, get rid of that. <laughs> and I could just get it back. I could just get it back. Oh my god, what a stupid fucking land. Oh my god. That's so wild. That is so wild. GG's. Uh, all right. Uh, Zeradin, let's fight. And this will be the last match. Also, uh, the Almighty Cheddar, if you don't mind, exclamation mark, leaving. Can you leave the queue, please? Thank you. Only have said did not die directly to Orb. I mean, there were two six drops. I feel like Koglo was going to kill you, but... How was the fam jam yesterday? 
Uh, I didn't have a draft that went better than five wins, which is not bad, but I found my losses kind of frustrating. I mean, I found my wins kind of frustrating too, except for the, the, the blue black one. That one, that one ruled. The commie draft was sick. That deck, yeah, that, that one was a tilting loss because my opponent just went amped raptor on one or on turn two and then just killed the next five things and then top deck the, oh, haha, kill you card. Uh, as I was like, okay, if I untap, I think I win this game and I stabilize, like, completely. Trying to add me. Mm. Hey, stop doing that. Hey, I said stop doing that. Uh, yeah, it should be this. I liked Red Green Eldrazi. Murph, did I say hello? I feel like I said hello, but I don't know now that I'm looking at your name. Welcome back for the 37th month. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you're doing well. Apologies if I missed you. I think I'm going to try a modern league with this Eldrazi deck. I don't know. I have some stuff that I need to do tonight. And I kind of want to prep for tomorrow's stream. Tomorrow, I mean, I guess tomorrow I'm going to be playing the Sultai deck and I could play this medium red deck afterwards. This medium red deck needs to be upgraded though. Mm, let me try restarting Arena if you're sending me friend requests. All the pros restart Arena. Uh, I do not see you. Maybe there's not enough room here. Let me let me get rid of someone. Okay, try that. Or you could post your thing and then we could try it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You could post your code. Why is it still Outlaws of Thunder Junction Master? Tempest. Good set. Banger of a set. I have sent you a friend request. MH3. I know it's the frog thing, but where is it? If you did not get that friend request, then I can just... Uh, try a direct challenge as well. Or if your name is going to be different. Oh, it has zeroed in Tempest. Oh. Oh, that's why. Okay, how about that? There you are. I got you. Wait, I had you. You were here. I saw you. Where'd you go? You all saw that, right? You 100% popped up on my list. And then disappeared. I love Arena. Check the tape. Did you by chance go offline? Pokemon TCG Live. I have thought about, yeah, I got you right here. It says you're offline. I don't know. Yeah, let's do challenge match. Challenge match, 60 card, best of three coin flip. 
I'm going to send you a direct challenge. You could do it to me. Oh, there you are. I found you. I found you. Challenge, best card. Yeah, okay, okay. I've sent it. I've sent it. We could do this. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. We got there. Uh, I don't think I can keep this. I'm on the play. Actually, I'm going to keep this. I have... I have a pretty sick curve. Uh, if I surveil a big idiot, I can keep it on top and put it in the labyrinth and then Kiora can pop off. So we can go like turn two Kiora into turn three Golos. But also if I find just like a two drop elf or whatever, I'll, I'll take it. Please don't stifle me. I mean, you can if you really want to. Don't need another land. All right, didn't get there. That's kind of wild though. Like any big idiot we draw, we can just skip ahead of the curve. I, I can still go turn three Garrick into turn four Golos. Uh, I will not be doing that. But this Kiora, Kiora into Cav is still fine. Oh, Stifle is one out of a hundred. Fuck it, we ball. Stifle is something more players need to think about. And if you're not playing Stifle in your blue decks, you should probably be playing Stifle in your blue decks. Ooh, they left the Garrick. Unless they're going to hit me with another attack spell. Great. Yeah, just get this out of the air. Can Hunter decks playing Stifle? Oh, yeah. Stifle's gotten a lot better in Can Lander. Obviously, hitting the lands are pretty clutch, but also uh, just being able to hit Thoracle, uh, being able to hit like a Brain Freeze, like a Storm Trigger or whatever. Like, you could do some gross stuff. Actually, hold on. Do I need to do this? What the fuck is this? What? This is what you find? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess I'll get this. <laughs> All right, let's get that beat down going. Broom. Stop the initiative. Yeah, you can stifle a storm trigger. I don't need this Uga back yet. Oh, hello. Let's see if I can hit another Dire Wolf Prowler. Aww. Uh, sure, I'll get you. Oh, I should have maybe plus this. I don't know. I think Amber Cold Jeeper is pretty exciting. Arnar. Well, I still have this. I mean, if we untap, we get to Amber Cool. Oh. Do I even want to do that? I mean, I kind of do. Do I need to do that here, though? I'm going to... Yeah. Well, hold on. I sack these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If 
we draw a land, we could just Ugin them? I mean, I think I'm just casting. I should just cast Emrakul. Is there a land in the yard? There's a land in the yard, yeah. I'll take that turn, please. Mm. Cast this. Hold priority. Cast this. And then... Don't actually care about that. Don't care about this. Yeah, just pass. Lap so they can't draw out. Uh, oh yeah, I could lapse the, the, whatchamacallit. I could lapse the, the tail's end. What are they going to do? Draw wrath? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh. Hold on. We're still trampling over. Delugi for 14. Okay, I want to see what's also in this. Oh, sure. Just a bunch of donkeys. Hey, Ugin's Labyrinth, pretty good. Also, check out this flavor win. <laughs> hey, everybody, check out this... Flavor win. Um, I'm going to mug in this hand. I'm going to keep this hand. Oh, Ulamog's not really the top deck or the the top end I want to see. I kind of like having the like sixes and fives that get you to the tens. Okay, bud. Sure thing, bud. Sure thing. Why is he stuck in his own labyrinth? I don't know. It's just a lot of shit in there. He's in his labyrinth, but he's, you know, pulling on all these weird levers and stuff to try and <laughs> to like, kind of like the Wizard of Oz. It could seem a lot scarier than it is. I don't know if I want to play into Deluge or the Evidence card. I don't have to. Nah, I don't think I will. Erm, um, I don't think I will. Ugin's in his Labyrinth, Turtle Power. Ooh. Um, I don't believe I will. All right, well, if they had it, I think they would have wrathed me already. And with the finale, I don't mind doing this. Ugin's summer home. Mm-hmm. 
Sure. Ooh. All right, to hell with landfall. I'd like to cast Anissa. Commit. Okay. Still a little scared about getting wrathed. Oh, Eugene. Oh, are they like Grixis super friends? It could be just Grixis control, but I'm getting big Grixis super friends vibes. Mm, I think I want Vorinclex here over the Cav. Vorinclex is just so big. I could have gotten Golos actually. Maybe I should have gotten Golos. But Vorinclex lets me get these two. So I can set up my next draw. I don't need that. Yeah, you can draw a card. Seize the Planeswalker. Well, they had the, the Liliana. The six mana Liliana. Hmm. I'm just going to attack with the Cultivator here. Oh, fuck. Okay, well. They get to cast the Commit to Memory. No, well, I mean, I get a fresh seven and I have all my lands. Oh, but they also get a fresh seven. those and the shifting woodland this disenchant that okay do i have delirium no <laughs> or in real life no although i am a little hungry Chromatic Lantern. <laughs> Your deck's cooking. Mm -mm. I mean, if if we lose like Vorinclex or something, this this could die pretty easily. But like, yeah, we could copy. Copying Prime Time is always kind of exciting. This mills cards, which is kind of neat. Let's grab Layer of the Hydra. And I guess I want to grab Cavern of Souls. Oh, Drawsy. 
I could have gone, um, could have found myself another land, I guess, but we have got a land here. No, my Vorinclex. Like we can be, we can turn on Delirium with this Misty Rainforest. We also have a layer of the Hydra. We got a bunch of stuff cooking, even though we have four lands in our hand. I think my sequencing that turn was pretty bad. I find that to be the case when I get to spots like this with this deck, because I'm just like, hey, yeah, I could do the thing, and then the thing, and then I can do the other thing, and, and I could cast a spell. I could cast a spell. Oh, my babies. My babies. Okay. Okay. Now I do have this layer of the Hydra. What happened to Brian Kibbler? What did Brian do? I'm gonna do this because it's very cool. Yeah, we got to shifting woodland. I mean, we had this layer of the Hydra, but if they have a blocker, it's like relevant. Ugin is still really good. Just a little more limited in where it shows up. GG Zeridan WP. Out of curiosity, were you super friends? Were you like Grixis super friends? Or just like Grixis control with a heavy planeswalker package? Oh. Yeah. See? That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Walk walk. Oh, that Fozzy? But not, not Chris Jericho, Fozzie. No, no, we, do, we don't. Please retire. Please retire. Uh, all right, I'm going to call it there. Uh, but a little recap. So we lost two matches with this deck uh, to blue-white control and white-black death and taxes. And... Hell yeah. That's pretty good. Going X and two with a deck like this, that could be pretty volatile. Um, we got to cast both the new Eldrazi. Oh, you're a martyr proc DNT. Yeah, Orzov like cheap disruptive creatures. Um, yeah, I'm glad. I think the MH3 cards really showed up too, right? Like Priest and Fnatic Aronis were pretty good. Fnatic becoming a 4-4. Super relevant, helped pressure against AMC. Priest of Titania repeatedly added a shitload of mana. Flare of Cultivation helped ramp, you know, it, it, I just cast it. Thief of Existence, this one actually was not super high on. Um, and I think I would cut it moving forward. The Sewing Mica Spawn didn't really get its time in the sun, but it was, you know, it did what I expected it to do. It showed up, made it was a body and found the Nykthos to help kind of pop off. This card was absurd. Every time I had it, I would I was excited to play it. Both Kozilek and Ulamog. Kozilek seemed better than Ulamog in this sense, but I mean it's it's an Ulamog. Uh, and then both these lands were great. I think I would cut this Thief of Existence and look to add another five drop. So if I'm making like a last minute change, uh, I am adding. Honestly, Acidic Slime would be pretty cool. Elder Gargaroth. Feels like it could do something. Excuse me, a little, a little burpee as a treat. Why did I, why did I say that? Um, 
We have the Nissas. This could be a Primal Command deck. Unironically, it could be a Primal Command deck. Uh, could be a Silverback Elder deck too. I would prefer something more immediate or with like an e you know with an ETB, just a big body. Could be a Thrun deck. Um, honestly, could be Vivian Reed or Renin Seven. Oh, this feels like a Renin Seven deck. I think I would add Vivian or Renin Seven, and I'm inclined to say Renin Seven. Although Vivian destroying uh, artifact enchantment and flying creatures is pretty exciting. But yeah, I, I would say Ren and Seven just because it's newer and probably probably better. A little bit better. But I think they're kind of interchangeable. There's a chance that I should be playing both. Um, and like, you could maybe cut this Mooly Dooly and turn it into the Viv, actually. What if I did that? Yeah, this I like. I think this is I think this is what I would end up with. But yeah, again, we went X X and two. Like what? Six and two, seven and two, something like that. That's not bad. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming more Gladiator. I'm going to be streaming the Sultai Tempo deck. Uh, look at this curve. Look at this curve. Isn't this beautiful? Beautiful curve here. Uh, yeah. If you have other decks you want to see me play in Gladiator uh, or any kind of brews or whatever, you can let me know on the Discord. Uh, I mean, you could pay me money to do it. You know, you got options. You got options. Uh, but thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. A reminder that the Canlander part of this video is going to be up on YouTube and as well as this one. The Canlander part's already on YouTube if you missed it. And then this version will be up first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, let me drop you kids off somewhere. Somewhere. No, oh, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted this. I wanted this. How about you go watch Everdell? They're playing with the Everdell expansion. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Go watch some Everdell. Some Beverdell. And then I will see y'all tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good one.